before I forget. All right, everybody, thank you so much for taking the time out of your weekend and your Sunday night to hop on. Um, I'm super excited about this because I think this is a topic that we've all been kind of wondering and asking about and obviously our business is 90% social media, if not more for some of us. And we need to be able to run that effectively and we need to be able to not only help people, but help people that we can relate to, that we have fun with, that we look forward to working with because that's what makes this business really extremely fun versus right. people who may not be our niche. We may not want to sit and have coffee with we're right. on Sunday night calls with, um, for our team. So I think, uh, what candy is going to talk to us about tonight is very informative. If you take away one thing, I think you can make some changes to your business. Um, one thing I want you to go into this call with and Bonnie Engel said this to me, it's not, directly to me, but at the national leadership conference or the new leadership conference, uh, was there are aha moments and those are great, but they mean absolutely nothing if there's no action behind it. So I don't want you to go through this call and take a ton of notes and write all these great things down and be super inspired by what Candy has to say and her story and what she's done and the tips that she has for you and then sit on them. And then in a month go, I don't know why my business hasn't moved yet. You have to take action. So she's going to give you some amazing tips. She's going to fire you up. You're going to want to work after this call. You can just feel it. So tell yourself you are sorry right now. You might just get a little inspired after you get off this call. But make sure that you get off this call. And when you're going through the things, I want you to think about, and this is going to be our call in a few weeks, so I think it'll help going into summit. I want you to think about, two or three things that you can start implementing this week and no more because you'll get very overwhelmed. But think about two or three things. And I, the reason I'm telling you this beforehand is because she's going to start talking and giving you tips. And you're going to be like, yes, 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 yes. But focus on two to three items that you can start implementing today, next week, things like that. Okay. So that when you get off the call, you can go back and star those items that really spoke to you. So that when you get off this call, you should be able to look back at your notes and say, yes, that at that moment I need to do this. Okay. So with that, um, Candy is going to take over. She has been a coach on our team officially since October, 2015, but it was about a year after that, that you decided to do something with the business part of it. And then maybe shorter. No, about a year. Um, I'm just trying to think timeline is because then you guys, she made the decision and she didn't hit success club. She didn't make a decision and well, and come out of the gate selling challenge packs. It wasn't for lack of effort. She was posting, she was sharing her journey, but then halfway through that, she decided to jump into social team builder and she saw the opportunity there. She saw what was possible. She invested a ton into her business, both time and finances. And she struggled even through that, okay, to hit success club. And I'll let her go into the nitty gritty and I'll let her share the details. But it wasn't until she gave her all for a full year, two years, I guess, if you want to be like almost two years. And now she is what? 13 months. There she goes. Um, but now she is hitting success club. She's helping people. But not with just challenge pack. She's helping people by just sharing her story and connecting with them. And that's what's changed in her business. So she's going to take the floor. It's all hers. Um, I've had it, Candy. I'm going to mute everybody. And Candy, when I mute everybody, just talk to yourself. Huh? You muted now? So let's be precise here. It was 13 months. I actually wrote it down because I felt like such a loser. Okay, I'm just going to put that right out there. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you is this was so freaking hard for me, guys. This comes easy to so many people. This came really hard to me. And if there's anything that you can take away from what I'm about to tell you, it's that it's okay to cry. It is okay to be stressed out. And it's okay to fight through it. When I signed up with Brittany in October of 15, I had no interest in coaching. 
I wanted a discount. But I watched her post and I watched her and I watched her. I kind of stalked her sometimes because I was so curious. How could this mom do this? And I'm stuck at a job that I hated. And it wasn't until April of 16 that social team builder scrolled down my timeline. And before that even happened, I have to tell you the nitty gritty nasty stuff that happened to me in between that Brittany, Brittany knows about, Caitlin knows about, and some of you probably would relate to this. I have no warm market. I had a husband who did not support Beachbody, a husband who didn't support me drinking Shakeology, who didn't support me doing workouts at home, and absolutely did not support me even thinking about doing coaching. So from that, I had two sisters who turned their back on me as soon as I said I was a coach. And when I say I turn, they turned their back on me, still to this day, my sister doesn't talk to me. And one of my sisters, I remember texting Brittany this as I was crying, that one of my sisters just the other day showed up in my driveway because they hated that I wanted to be a beach body coach. So if anybody has no warm market, it's this chick right here. Okay. I was shamed by so many of my friends, so many of my family, and I'm probably the only person to sit here and say, I kept freaking going. I kept going. Because something inside of me told me that something was so much bigger than all the hatred that I was receiving from my own family. I knew that there was an opportunity in front of me and it wasn't about numbers. It wasn't about financial. It was about me finding myself because I was so lost. Um, and that's one of the things that I share a lot on my page. So <laughs> I had no sales, like Brittany said. I had no anything for 13 months. That right there would tell you, I should have been that coach that should have quit. I should have been that person that walked away and said, this isn't for me. I can't do this. Nobody wants to see what I'm posting. People are actually unfriending me, blocking me, sending me nasty text messages. Like, why are you doing this? Um, but I never quit. And I kept going. And one of the things that has helped me is consistency. I have never missed a day posting three to five times a day through the muck, through the terrible, through the happiness, through the ugliness, through the craziness of being away at camp and having no service and having to run down a mile just so that I could go make a post. I have never missed a post because you have no idea who is watching you. Absolutely no idea. So the transition that I made from my personal to my like page was 100% based upon I have no warm market. So if you have no warm market, or if you have a market you think is just drained out, or you wanna you know, expand it, your life page is your, it's, it's, it's it. It is totally it. It has changed everything about what has happened to me. I have been able to grow my page up to over 10,000 people as of this weekend. And those are all targeted people and some are not my niche. That happens. Some are my niche. It's okay. But I'm able to use my like page to tell my story. I use my personal page to tell my daily laughs, my jokes, my quirky jokes, my post selfie posts that I did do my workout. Yeah, whatever. Um, but I use my like page for sharing my story. And sharing my story means I'm a mom who battled depression after my son. I'm a mom who battled anxiety. I share that. People connect to that. And I post with intent. If you make a post and it's just, I'm really kind of feeling kind of sad today, you know, yada, yada, people are going to scroll by it and be like, yep, yep. You have to post with intent and that are all, those are all the posts that I make with intent. It's an intent to catch someone's eye who can relate to it. They can relate to how tired I am, how cranky I am, but I'm still doing it. 
how, you know, I don't want to work out, but I have to work out because my sanity depends on it. Um, how working out has changed my anxiety so it's non-existent. I share all of that because there are hundreds and thousands and thousands of people that can relate to that, that you can reach on your page. You will not go to my page and see me posting. I posted this in a video for Meg too. You'll never see me stand there and post a picture of my Shakeology and say, this is my cafe latte breakfast today. Yummy. I will never do that. You know what I will do? I will hold, well, you know, I did this the other day for my son. I will have my son hold it and say, he can have his chocolate shake today because it's boosted his immune system. He no longer takes long-term antibiotics. His eczema is gone. His digestion is great. He's happy. He's healthy. And this kid loves chocolate. I'm not going to deprive him of it. Have it all you want, honey. And those posts go crazy. They go crazy. Crazy with, what are you giving him? Can it, maybe it can help my son with eczema. Or I get these messages from people asking about them. So it's it's posting with intent that I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm trying to catch somebody's eye so that somebody else in the same shoes can catch on to that. And I do it with all of my posts. And this isn't just workout, psychology, reading a book. This is real life. I posted about the other day how I got like a third degree sunburn and I can't believe how many people chimed in and sent me messages that I needed to go to like a freaking hospital because I was so badly burnt. And it just, it, the craziest, dumbest posts on my page go insane. I did a meal prep video yesterday. FYI, live video is so unbelievably important for your page. It boosts the algorithms and they go insane. I did a meal prep video yesterday I was just showing people how I made buffalo chicken bowls. Super simple. I don't mind talking in front of the camera anymore. I'm actually a really bad introvert. Like, it's really bad. Like, this is hard for me to talk to you guys, but it, sometimes it's just okay. But I did this live video, just started making my buffalo chicken bowls. This video has hit over 18,000 people, and people are still commenting on it. And it's the silliest things too, because it was me rambling on. It's not something that's scripted. It's real life. So people want to see real life. They want to see the chaos. You see my dogs running by. One time my, jo my dog jumped up on the table and started eating some of my food while I was meal prepping. People want to see that because it's real life. You're sharing real life. You're not just sharing your workout strategy and you're reading a book. And now I'm going to shift to reading a book. Because reading a book is the only thing that has kept me from not quitting all of this time. Personal development has literally been my saving grace. I have read every book imaginable. And if you're not reading personal development, you need to be reading personal development. Um, I've been on airplanes for three hours, reading personal development for three hours. I've been in the airport terminals reading, 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 because it's the only thing that kept my mind so high when my business felt so low, so low. And it kept me consistent and persistent that I knew that over time, this was all going to change. It was all going to change. But you can't give up. Even if you hit a wall, you can't give up. You have to keep posting. Even if you make a post on your page and you get one like, like it doesn't matter you have to detach yourself from the emotion of that post and keep going people are going to see it they might scroll by it they might not like it they might not heart it they might not comment on it but they sure as heck did see it maybe they just don't like to comment maybe they'll send you a message i've gotten messages before where they're like i've been following you for a year now mm -hmm. never liked never commented never anything and they just come out of the woodwork, but that's because of consistency. You don't miss a day, you don't miss two days, you don't miss a week, you don't just show up a week later and say, hi, I'm back, here I am, and then everyone's gonna be like, hmm, not really sure if um, I want you to help me because you're not consistent and I need consistency in my life. So I am like the consistency queen. 
with my page. I am even if, and the best thing about like pages too, guys, if you don't have one, is that you can schedule your posts out. You can schedule them out. You can work on them the day before, the week before, whatever you want. But make sure that when you schedule them out, they aren't kind of boring. What I do is I use notes on my phone. And if I'm in the moment, I am a free flower. If you watch my posts, I'm a free flower. I will note them on my phone. <laughs> yeah. I will note them on my phone and I will go onto my like page and I will post it and schedule it. Even if it doesn't have a picture, I will schedule it a couple days and then I will go back to it, copy it, put a picture in and then schedule it to post a real post. So I'll match it up with a selfie because I take selfies all the time. I just don't post a lot of them. I take them all the time on my phone because you never know when you're going to need a picture of a salad on a Saturday night or something. You have no idea. It's so true. You're like, I don't know what to post tonight, so I need a picture. Okay, here's a salad on my phone. It's exactly what happens. So scheduling the post on there is good. Um, but one of the, the biggest things that I've seen on my page since starting it um, with Social Team Builder and Social Team Builder, what was what was able to, for me to grow my page so big and target them um, was being able to share my story instead of selling it because my story can sell. But it's just completely different. You are not a walking billboard for Beachbody. You do not want to be that. What you want to be is your own billboard. You want to share yourself so that people can come to you. Because let's get real for a second. People can buy all of these tools anywhere. They can go on Amazon. They can go on Beachbody and they can get a sign somewhere. Yeah, I know it's a crappy, crappy feeling when you hear somebody goes on Amazon. But it's the truth. There are so many coaches out there, right? You have to show people why they would want to work with you. They can work with anybody. Why are they going to choose you? Is it because you show up every day and you're happy, you're enthusiastic, you're inspiring? That's why somebody's going to want to work with you because you're sharing your story every single day. I'm sharing my story every day and the people that connect with me actually want to work with me. I don't have to chase people. That was like my worst thing. It's because I didn't have a warm market. I was afraid I was going to have to chase people. And I didn't want to play that chasing game because it's not a fun game to play. And you always feel like you're chasing people. And I never wanted to feel like that icky salesperson. I wanted to feel like people would flock to me because they've seen my story. They're on my page. They want to work with me. And, you know, we just connected. And that's so much better sharing your story than selling it. Right? Right, Caitlin? I see your smile. Yeah. Okay. So the uh, one of the other things that you guys were asking me about is my um, page, my posts. How do you think of posts? How do you think of things to write with? I am a free flowing person. I post like I'm texting you. I post like I am texting my girlfriend and it's like a Friday night and I'm just texting something. There's no, if you sit there and write out a post for a really long time and it sounds scripted, people are going to see right through that. They're going to keep scrolling past it. And I've had plenty of those posts too, which brings me to, you've got to use your own words and your own style. They have to match up consistently. One of the biggest problems that I had in the beginning was I was like, ooh, look what she's doing. Oh, look what she's writing. Oh, look what she wrote over there. That did good for her. Oh, she did that. I'm going to try that too. And I would try it and face plant every time because it wasn't me. It wasn't me and it wasn't authentic. And I found the right words that worked for me by trial and error, face planting every time, failing forward. I've had so many posts go crappy. You're a free flower too. I am too. I really am. And if you watch my post, it's like, hey, girlfriend. And it just, it's just how I am. And that's how my posts come off. So you have to find the way that you talk, the way that you walk, the way that you look. It all has to be the same all the time. And people will catch on to that. 
it's like branding. In Social Team Builder, they did a lot of branding. And a lot of people do like, um, they do like little words on their, their pictures or they do like a striping or lines or something. It's branding so that it catches your eye. So people will, you know, get, get caught with it in the timeline. Um, I personally don't do that on my stuff. I, I don't know. It just, it didn't catch right with the vibe on my page. So that's about it about my posting. Do any questions yet? Even though you're... I can't see the chat for it. So in the moment, you're in the moment. Does anyone have questions about posting while we're on the topic? No? Candy better not have one message in her inbox. <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question really quick? Sorry. Yeah. Um, so on your like page, you talked about sharing your story and then saving like your selfies and whatnot for um, your personal page. So when you are on your like page, are you always kind of like going deep and going in or do you ever try to lighten things up? Or I mean, is it always like we're going to find out a different piece of your story on your like page? No, um, my story, what I usually... I did this in one of the social team builder had me do a video for them too, explaining what I did. I think Heather Long sent me a message about this too, about asking my themes. Um, I usually stick with one theme throughout the entire week. Um, whether it's, um, so sorry to do this the other day. Um, in two weeks, it's going to be a make yourself proud week. And I'm going to go on for seven days talking about making myself proud whether it's involving something with my kids, my husband, it's a proud workout moment, I conquered a fear, I conquered emotional or binge eating. I incorporate everything into one topic. That way it free flows throughout the week and it doesn't look I'm just like all over the place, like making random posts. I like that it all flows into a certain area. I've certainly done weeks where I've talked about um, stress eating uh, and binge eating as a whole. And I will talk about how I almost took a cupcake to my face because I was so stressed. And I will go live and I will do a video saying I wanted to eat this, but I'm stopping myself and I'm coming to you live and I'm talking about it. And people like that because people chime in and they're like, I am an emotional and I'm a binge eater and I need your help and I just want to talk. You know, so I always try and pull it all into one theme per week and try not to be like all scatterbrained. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Chiming in on that too, like if you go to my page, I'll, you're going to hear like a lot about, like I talk about balancing toddler life and baby life. And then also like, obviously confidence, but like specifically just being confident in a, and being a mom and loving your body through that journey. So like there's a couple of things that I really focus on on my page so that it is repetitive but the story comes out in a different way each time. Does that make sense? But I like candy. I like that having like a different theme each week to kind of zero in on. And that gives you some focus without making you have to stick to A, B, C, D. But you it have does. Focus. It does. And I'm, I'm, uh, I say this all the time on my page too, which is a really great hit. Um, you don't have to stick to the basics on your life page. You can branch out. I love 365 planners. I got a planner for business. I got one in my purse for personal. I got one for church. I have everything. And I talk about it all the time. And it's the easiest way to connect other people because I can target all of those people who like 365 planners. So we connect, we make relationships, we chat. I put on my personal page. I see all this 365, but then they start seeing my workouts. And then they start asking questions and the conversating and it all just flows together. But for the easiest thing that I do with this is I use this anyways. So what I do is I take a stupid sticker. It sounds so dumb, but one sticker gives me seven days. And that one sticker is right there. And that one sticker gave me seven days worth of posts. So I use this anyways, and it's just something that I'm just a binder girl. It's just what it is. So, but it happened to work out so perfectly because it just gives me random quotes 
motivational fitness quotes and it just gives me a topic to run with and then you can just incorporate it in everything else um, in your life, you know? Help that out a little bit. Anyone? Say water. Water. <laughs> Caitlin. Can't wait till next month. She's this girl, I'm telling you. She's just don't let me park her car out there, okay? Her car. Okay. We won't get the car. No. Um, okay, go ahead. No and other questions on posts? Any questions on targeting people? No questions on any of that? No are questions using, on my page? Are you using, um, you use page ads to get likes, correct? I do. And I do. all through Team Builder. I do. I only run, well, let's just say, <laughs> well, let's get to the honest truth here. When I signed up for Social Team Builder, I was the slow turtle. I was the one who was watching the videos at 4 a.m. because I wanted to learn how I could grow my page to find people who were like me. It's the whole point of Social Team Builder marketing. So I went through video after video over and over, didn't understand, went back went forward, have an entire binder up on my desk of notes. And I targeted the wrong people, the wrong people, the wrong people over and over again. And I spent incredible money, incredible money <laughs> on like page ads. So let's just say when my business actually took off, in January of 2017, all of the money that I invested, and I'll stop right there and tell you, you have to invest some money to build your page. And I remember Brittany telling me that in the beginning, just spend like $5 a month, $10 a month, just run it for a week. And I was just like, no, 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 no. I am not spending money to make money. And honestly, that concept is completely backwards. You have to spend money to make money. And I tell you that because all of the money that I spent from April of 2016 until December, I made back in two weeks in January. So you have to pay, yeah. trust me, it, it, don't tell my husband that because he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't know most of it. But I had to pay to launch myself out there. And I was okay with that because I knew that this was something big. This was like my only shot. If I could get my page out there and I could keep my content flowing and showing up every single day that these people were going to roll in and they have rolled in nonstop since January, nonstop. And they're not going to stop because I will never stop. So you can never, ever, ever give up. So if you're contemplating doing social team builder, it is so worth that money. Just like Caitlin just did. It is so worth to blow up your page and target people because this isn't targeting people, just random people. I'm targeting moms right now. I have a, two specific ads out that are targeting moms that are bringing in all mom people that are so broken down into a specific niche that they're like me and they're connecting with me immediately. So it's like, now I suddenly have this warm market of moms that are like free flowing to me and it kind of feels amazing, you know? Any questions on targeting? Ads? I, have a, I have a question. Yeah. Um, so with targeting, you mean your ad is targeted towards a specific group of people, correct? Or is it something special that Social Team Builder does? It's something special that they teach you to target by age, by location. You can target the U.S., you can do Canada, and now you can do the U.K. Um, you can target through pages that other people like. Um, so if you like a specific page, like say you like Crayola, um, you can target Crayola and then dig deeper into that, into other things that you like, that these people like, and you can target those people through a like page ad. So it's not like you're just throwing your ad out there to like the gabillion people on Facebook and it's saying, you know, like my page for 
fitness workouts or whatever, you know, it's okay. specific, specific moms that are coming in right now. And trust me, I've had terrible life cage editing absolutely terrible and there are plenty of people that get banned from your like page if you don't have a like page you're going to see that you're going to ban a lot of people well, any other questions on like page ads i'm actually kind of amazed that all of you want to hear my story i never thought in all these years like a year and a half that i'd be sitting on here talking to you guys i never ever thought that like when Brittany, i can't I can't hear you. Um, like you, like you said, like you showed up though. And when it got hard, you didn't quit. And I can't tell you how many times I've had coaches get frustrated because they're not hitting success club five, but they're not even doing the basic behaviors, let alone investing financially or time into your business. Mm. So, Kind of going um, what Laura said, like that's what Team Builder teaches you, Laura, is how to target and who to target. Because Facebook does it not, you don't want to target these huge pages because you kind of get lost in that. So they teach you how to find smaller pages to connect with more people like you. Right, Candy? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's I only what they really educate you on. Mm. Yeah, I don't run them all the time though. Um, I run them like at the either like the beginning of the month or the end of the month to bring new people in. So that way, if I do do a challenge group mm -hmm. uh, hook, you know, new people will come across and see it. But you don't want people to come into your, new people to be coming into your page to see that you've posted once in two weeks. You know, you want to make sure that you're posting all the time on your page, even when you don't want to. You still have to, you know, you want to make sure you show people that you show up on there. Um, and showing up is such an emotional thing. I can't tell you how many text messages or even voice messages Brittany and I have had over the past, what, since October of 15, um, <laughs> over the past year and a half. And, you know, I remember Brittany texting me, like, I've asked Meg's group, like, what do you think's going wrong here? I'm trying to just get help from me because I'm like, I have really great content. I have really great posts. I'm posting every day. I'm doing my workout. I'm doing everything I should be doing. Nothing was happening for me. 13 months. Nothing. 13 months I had never hit success club. I, I didn't have anything. I didn't have like one customer underneath me. Actually, you know what? I had my grandma, but do you even count that? <laughs> grandma has Shakeology. But, my grandma I had my grandma that was about it so and she really wasn't a supporter she just wanted to shake all of it but um yeah I said grandma Caitlin says share on your personal page versus the like page okay, we're we have less than a minute so talk quick and then I can go live and I'll answer in the team page live okay um I do not share posts from my like page to my personal page. If it's something specific that I want people who are not on my like page, but on my personal page, I will go in and tag myself on it so that it will show up in their timeline. Um, but if it's really, really, I want it to get to both people, I will post it on both pages. If it's like a hook or something special. Otherwise, I don't copy the same post and post on both pages and I don't share back and forth. It's just too confusing for me, way too confusing. I keep them separate, completely separate. Okay, um, that's one second. And there, and then I'm gonna go do like a little recap in the team page and I'll kind of bullet point some things and we'll go from there. 